Hello Bloomington, I'm Mayor Tim Bussey and this is the Council Minute for the week of July 24th. On Monday, the City Council received an update on the Bloomington Tomorrow Together strategic plan. And we learned more about the dashboard that's now up and running that the Council and the public can use to better understand the work going on to achieve the goals of the strategic plan. Anytime I talk about the Bloomington Tomorrow Together plan, I always like to start with the mission statement which is to cultivate an enduring and remarkable community where people want to be. That mission statement and the entire Bloomington Tomorrow Together planning process started in the fall of 2021 with community events during which residents and stakeholders shared their vision for the future of Bloomington. Then community members and city staff formed three teams tasked with compiling and reacting to the community feedback. A core planning team was assembled and that group developed the body of the plan while action teams and a measurement team expanded on the core planning team's recommendations. In late 2022, another group of city staff gathered to create a measurable and actionable work plan based on the community's vision that will carry the work forward to help reach the community's goals. In short, hundreds of community members and city staff have spent many, many hours on this process over the course of the past two years. Ultimately, the work plan has three priorities with nine desired outcomes. You can see those listed here. The priorities are intentionally broad and are pretty ambitious. The goals of the strategic plan are to create a connected and welcoming community, a healthy community, and a community with equitable economic growth. As I said, those are broad goals. And it's easy to ask, what does it mean to have a healthy community? How is that being measured? That's a very good question. And that leads us to the dashboard that's been developed to give residents and the City Council a tool to follow the progress of the work on the strategic plan. The dashboard outlines the status of the plan based on timelines and the progress of the plan based on actions taken. Now there's a lot of information on the dashboard and I honestly can't do it justice here, but I do want to take you through an example of how the information provided drills down from the broad priorities to very specific action steps. Here's what I mean. You can see here the priority of creating a connected, welcoming community. By clicking on the icon, the dashboard moves to a narrative explaining what that means. Here it shows we're about 20% done with the work that we've identified. It also lists some community-led outcomes that we'd like to see achieved. Those outcomes are people can connect with their neighbors. People are welcomed by the city into the community. And residents are valued by the community. Each of those outcomes are also links, and you can simply click on them to learn more. For example, clicking on People are welcomed into the community, you'll see even more specific initiatives. For example, expanding creative placemaking across Bloomington. Clicking on that link takes you to a very specific checklist of activities of how creative placemaking will be expanded across the city of Bloomington. It provides a narrative of the latest updates and shows some graphic measurements. Okay, I'll admit we're probably a bit too deep in the weeds here, but I wanted to show you that our Bloomington Tomorrow Together strategic plan that we've been talking about, it isn't simply words on paper or just a feel-good mission statement. The plan was put together in a very thoughtful and intentional way, and there is very specific and meaningful and measurable work going on that is incrementally moving the city of Bloomington toward that aspirational mission statement that we started with. I encourage you, Take some time and noodle around with the dashboard. If you have questions or maybe suggestions about how to make the dashboard more useful, we'd love to hear from you. We still have a lot of work to do, but I'm excited about what we can achieve in Bloomington tomorrow together. On Monday night, I read a proclamation formally recognizing and establishing a relationship between the Bloomington Police Department and the U.S. Army Reserve Private Public Partnership Office. It's an Army Reserve office that frankly I didn't know existed, but after a bit of research, I'm impressed with the work they do. The Private Public Partnership Office is a national program that works to cultivate relationships with businesses, nonprofit organizations, academic institutions, and governments with the goal of connecting Army Reserve soldiers and their family members with job opportunities, internships, and educational opportunities. Army Reserve soldiers are required to perform 39 days of training each year. At the same time, Nine out of ten of those soldiers also have a civilian job. They need to integrate their military service with their civilian careers. Through this partnership, the Bloomington Police Department will be in contact with the Army Reserve regarding job opportunities and, more importantly, offering suggestions and advice regarding the knowledge, skills, and abilities needed 
to succeed in a career as a police officer, as a dispatcher, or as a record specialist here in the city of Bloomington. It's logical to see where skills gained as a reservist could be beneficial in a professional employment setting. Reservists and veterans have proven leadership capabilities, a mission-focused approach to their work, and experience working in diverse teams and organizations. It's also pretty easy to see how experience working here in Bloomington could benefit soldiers in the field. And from a practical standpoint, in a job market with an unemployment rate of 2.9%, smart employers look for every opportunity to find and hire outstanding employees. Ultimately, the goal is a mutually beneficial relationship that enhances a soldier's readiness and capabilities and gives employers like the City of Bloomington and the Bloomington Police Department another resource to recruit good people to serve the residents of Bloomington. And finally today, this is our last Council Minute for the month of July. I can't believe how fast the summer is flying past. Before we start worrying about the Vikings and think about the State Fair and stress about back to school, I sincerely hope you're all taking advantage of some of the great fun activities that are taking place across Bloomington this summer. Our Park and Rec staff has done fantastic work, and you still have a chance to enjoy it. From the midweek market and music every Wednesday night here at Civic Plaza, to the Thursday Blockbuster Series over at Normandale Lake Bandshell, to the Saturday Farmer's Market, to Sunday Fun Day, and to the new Adults Only Nights at the Aquatic Center. There's something for everyone, there's something for you. And I didn't even mention National Night Out, Artistry's production of Godspell, the On the One Festival in August, or simply enjoying our parks and trails. Folks, there is so much going on, and the crowds have been great, but I want to invite each and every one of you personally, get out and enjoy summer in Bloomington while you can. It's a special time, and all of the activities and being out with neighbors and friends, old and new, it's all part of what makes Bloomington a special place. That will do it for this week's Council Minute. Thanks much for joining me. Until next time, stay safe, Bloomington.